Hi everybody, today I will show you about Elementor Parallax Scrolling Effect Tutorial. So let's begin. Alright, so to create the Parallax Effect, it's pretty simple. You first you will need to go inside any pages. I just click on all pages. And here we're going to simply add our Parallax Scroll Effect in our home page. So let's click on Edit with Elementor. Alright, so here you can see here we have the different sections on our home page. So we're gonna add one new container in between. So I'm gonna add this after the about us. So let's add one container here. So let's add one container here. All right, so I have to put this in between about us and services. Okay, so let's go back and you will be able to see our container here. So now what we need to do, we have to change its content width. So that will be the full width. Now we have to do one thing here that is margin values will be zero and also the padding okay so now the first thing that i need to do here i would go inside the style and i would add the background so let's add the image here so i'm going to go here with this image so let's click on select now you will be able to see your image but we have to do one thing here so first i need to change the height of it so the height will be around 100 vh because i wanted to cover the whole screen perfect or maybe we can go here with 80 vh yeah this is looking better okay so now what we can do here let's just go back to the style okay so we have to change the values in our background so let's change the position here so that would be center center and we have to select the display size so this would be cover perfect now to make the parallax scrolling effect on our background image, we have to change the value of the attachment to the fix. But before that, let me show you how this is looking. So if I just change the value here to the fixed, now you'll be able to see our parallax scrolling effect. All right. So if you wanted to do the same thing with the heading as well, so we're going to add the heading. So let's add the heading here and let's just change the text. So we have our text here, so now I need to change the color of it. Perfect. And I need to put this into the center and also center vertically. So let's just click on our container. Let's just go into the layout. Justify content would be center. Now this is looking good. Okay, so right now you can see this. We are not having any parallax scrolling effect on our heading. So how can we add this? That is really easy. You just have to select the heading and after this you have to go inside the advanced and here what we need to do we have to change the position here to the fixed okay so now we have to change the values of our horizontal orientation and also the vertical orientation so i'm going to change the value here to the percentage so this will be the 50 percent or maybe the 30 percent and here it will be the 50 percent Okay, but I have to change the unit here. All right, so now you can see this. We are having our text into the center. Okay, but still we have a one problem with this is that if I just scroll down, you will be able to see that our text is overriding on the other containers. Okay, so to solve that, what we can do here. So first I would like to change the color of it so that we can see it clearly. So let's just make it a little grayish color. Okay. So now you can see this our text is overriding on the other containers so how can we solve this so you can see this right now our text is inside the services container so i simply click on this and here we have to click on the advanced setting and now you have to add the value of z index to 2 now you won't be able to see the overriding here obviously since we don't have the background color here that is why you can see it here but if i add the color here on our background so let's go back here and add the background color so this would be maybe a kind of red color or anything light here now you won't be able to see the overriding of the text here so similarly we will need to do the same thing on our about us container so if i just click on the advanced setting and here i would have to add the two value here and I would also need to add the background color here. So now we have to do one thing here. That is we have to add the color. So let's add the white color here. So now you won't be able to see. Okay. So that is how it works. 
and that is how we can create the parallax crawling effect in the elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel